friends, it's Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights, and I'm here today for a Diamond Art Club sneak peek. And the one that I'm sharing with you guys today is called Bathroom in Paris. This one is a big one. It's a big one. <laughs> this one is 38.6 inches by 27.6 inches, or 98 centimeters by 70 centimeters. And this one is a square. It is by Olga Art Beat Studio. And you guys, this one just looked so fun and lovely. <laughs> Wouldn't you love a bathroom like that? Oh my goodness, and a view. So we have got the blue square right here that tells us that this is a square diamond painting, which means the little drills or the diamonds that you're gonna place on your canvas are shaped as squares. There are either squares or rounds in diamond painting. And so that's how you just know on a diamond art club kit that these are round shaped, or I'm sorry, square shaped little diamond bits on it. We've got a QR code right here for 10% off. And then you've got how to diamond paint as well as your kit contents. Now, if you are um, a first time purchaser of Diamond Art Club, I do have a an affiliate code, which is Emeralds20 for 20% 20 off your first purchase. But if you are not a first time purchaser, there are codes everywhere. So guys, please use a code every time you're checking out. They are there for you to use. So inside our kit, we have got our small sticker right here. You can do whatever you would like with that. Um, there's a lot of people like to put them on their bags, on their boxes, in their log books, you know, whatever you want to do. And then we've got our toolkit. And this one, one difference between round and square canvases um, is that square kits come with a pair of tweezers. So these are sharp, so just be careful. You'll also get a diamond painting pen and a soft squishy, and I love that these are always different colors. They usually have a matching squishy to go with it to make diamond painting more comfortable. You are going to get a skinny four and seven placer that you can put on the bottom of your pen to multi-place. A bag of baggies. You will get a random cover minder. Look, isn't that cute? It's an ice cream cone. A lot of people use these to hold their cover back while diamond painting. So that's always fun that there's a cute little random one. It's a fun surprise. And then you are also going to get some washi tape and it's always going to just be a random tape. So this is the design that we got in this toolkit. And then you will get a heart container with wax in there to diamond paint. Make sure you take off the plastic cover on these little wax slabs before you try to get some in your pen. And then you have got a tray and a stopper. It goes like this. Your canvas is protected in this nice bag that's going to keep this soft backing cover just nice and clean and soft. Because it's so soft, it does have a tendency to collect dust or little bits or anything like that. So I love that they come in these bags and that you can continue to store them in these bags. So another thing that I love about these canvases is that they have this poked and scalloped edge on it so that it's not going to fray, which is really nice. And in opening this a bit, I think we can see that it's going to go this way. So it's going to be a, a wide canvas. And so let's open this up. Oh my gosh, and look at that extremely long list of colors. Wow, this one is going to be so much fun. Oh, and I love the blue fingernails. <laughs> I love that, the little kitty over there. So one thing you can do to help your canvases lay flat really quickly um, is that because this is a poured blue canvas, you can roll this backwards. Don't have to 
worry about work, like ruining the glue or anything like that. The canvas, just with a little bit of a help to roll it backwards like that, will lay flat so easily. You can just, guys just even see that, how much better it sits flatly from just one roll backwards. Now I do have to say that these canvases, I find if you just leave them out, they lay flat within a few hours. I never have any issues with like any sort of, of the roll just staying in it. Like if that makes sense, if you see any little lines or bubbles or anything in the plastic cover, you don't have to worry. That's just the plastic cover. It's not the glue. Um, so, wow, this one is stunning. I'm gonna give you guys a full view and a pan of this canvas and we'll be right back. one is so fun um, let's look a little bit at the canvas close up so you've got your legend on either side and then down here you have got the information about your canvas this lets you know that this canvas is licensed from the artist and that the artist and their their you know art company has given permission to diamond art club to use this image as well as they are being compensated down here we have got information about socials and another coupon. Like I told you, there are coupons everywhere, so make sure you're always using one. And then you have got your lifetime warranty right here if you have any issues with the canvas or drills. We also got our drills right there, and then we have got a small thank you booklet. This has a message from the owner and founder, as well as inside. We've got a QR code that takes you to a video on how to diamond paint, as well as the VIP Facebook group. If you like Facebook, this has lots of good tips and tricks in it, and fellow diamond painting lovers. Again, another coupon code, as well as a QR code to another coupon code if you use the app for your first purchase. So we have got our stickers right here, and two stickers, guys, two. <laughs> So Diamond Art Club was previously limited to a certain amount of colors because of their one sticker sheet. They have recently started expanding the colors on their Diamond PT kits. This one has 79 colors and I believe this one sits at the top with one other canvas as the most diamonds in a kit as far as the different diamonds in a kit, if that makes sense. The number of colors. That's how I should have said it. This one has the most number of colors that Diamond Art Club has released. So they have started putting in a second sheet if it goes past the 67, um, but they've got lots of room to expand the colors more. So I guess we'll see if <laughs> this one will be dethroned. So we've got bathroom in Paris up here with the artist information. You can put start and end date and you get two two stickers are large pictures of this image and how fun i love the dog and the little cat reading a book doesn't it just look so fun <laughs> um and then let's look go ahead and look at our colors so here are the symbols up close we've got i almost thought this was glasses but it looks like it's two triangles there's going to be a lot more symbols because, you know, there's so many colors in this kit. And this one is, I haven't seen this one as much. It's like, I, I call it the sunrise. We've got, um, I'm trying to see if there's any different ones that are less used. Oh, we've got a four leaf or a three leaf clover. 
Another thing to know is that in the color code of Diamond Art Club, anything underneath the number 150 is going to be an AB drill, which means that it's going to have a special coating on it and it's gonna have an extra shine. Now, Diamond Art Club has started adding extra special drills other than just ABs. You usually find those at the bottom of your list. This kit does not have them, but it does have five ABs, which that is going to be so fun to see where those go. So your diamonds are going to come in this package right here, this bag. It's going to have a sticker on it that lets you know that these drills go to this canvas. I'm going to go through these drills one by one. If you would like to just skip quickly through this part, I will pull out the ABs and show you where they go after I show you each of the drills. Okay, let's get into these drills. And you, you, if you've heard me talk, these are absolutely my most favorite drills on the market. They are so beautiful and shine. I just can't even tell you guys how much I love these drills. So we have got three bags of 327. Look at those flat bottoms. That's what you want to see. I love that. We've got two bags of 3776 and two bags of 930. We've got a bag of 3830 and one of 161. That's such a Paris blue. <laughs> We've got three bags of 402 and 3743. We've got 129. This is our very first AB, so it's that light yellow. And if you can see that slight shimmer on there, that just adds a little bit of a punch to it. We've got 3836 and 898. Three bags of 3835 and 803. 3803 and 918. 743, two bags of 3834. Three bags of 550. Two bags of 154 and a bag of 758. Three bags of 3371 and two bags of 915. A bag of 341, 160, 754, and 355. 3607, 3772, 778, and 498. 3805, 312, 842, and 210. 893, 3750, 319, and 632. 995, 814, 141. So this is another AB, this white right here. 3856, 3837, 891, 742, and 720. 904, 301, 107. So our third AB, this lovely red. 947 and 3722. 445, 798, 920, and 3064. Two bags of 3857 and two bags of 3041. A bag of 741 and two bags of 159. 740, two bags of 3778 and one of 3727, a bag of 829, 152, 799, and 963. It's a lovely light pink. 977, 976, 140, our fourth AB, 3807. 
134, our last AB, this lovely green, and 905. We've got 3861 and 3766. Here are the five ABs. Now, one thing you guys might have noticed when I was going through those drills is there is no 310 in this kit. None. So there's a fun little just, uh, you know, a challenge this year. It was brought up by a member of the VIP group, Diamond Art Club VIP group, um, Fanny Decoto. I hope I said your name right, Fanny. <laughs> but she created this fun little challenge, and one of them is to complete a canvas this year with no 310. This one would absolutely count because there is no 310 in this kit. And if you're wondering what 310 is, that is a black drill. Um, so, anyway. <laughs> Um, we have got our 140, 134, 129, 107, and 141. So number one is going to be this red AB. And I can spot this one already. There's a little bit in the flowers right here. And then you're gonna see some in the rose petals or flower petals right here, down here. There's a little flower that's gonna have a bunch of them. There's gonna be some around the ribbon, around this basket or kind of maybe a laundry basket or something. And then you've got some reds right here in the roses. And you've got some right here in these roses as well as it looks like, is that maybe the bath towel? or a towel at least right there. So that is where you have that 107. So the number two symbol is going to be this lovely yellow. I call it like an Easter yellow. It's so pretty. Um, this one is going to be in a large band right here. It's going to reflect the light on the bathtub. It's gonna be right here in the wine glass. And it's going to be right here on the candle just a little bit in there. Then you're going to have it on the dog's face, so it's definitely reflecting the light from these candles, which also do have the two in there. We've got a little bit of two right here on these items on the tray, and then you've got some twos right here on the candles, and twos up here. So that is going to be lovely. Oh, and there's going to be a little bit in the flowers right here to add some sparkle. Then, let's see, number three is going to be this green right here. And you're going to find the green. You've got it right here in this tree. You've got some right here in the leaves of this one. You've got it right up here in some of the items that are on the bathroom wall. You've got it, let's see, is there, there's a little bit in the picture. You've got it in this little thing that's in the cabinet, as well as there is some green in the leaves right here. And that's about it for the green. Number four is this lovely blue. And this one is going to be in her fingernails. So that'll be really fun. We've just got a few in the fingernails. It's not all of the blue on the fingernails, but it's part of it. So that's fun. So that's, I feel like that will give the nail polish a little bit more of a realistic shine look to it. You know, it's not matte. <laughs> Um, so I think that is all for this blue unless there is, I can't really see it anywhere else. And there's so little of it, I'm assuming that it's just in the nails. But if you find it anywhere else, that'll be a surprise for you, right? And then we've got 141, which is this white one. And this is going to be symbolized with this little dot right here. You can see that. So you're going to see that around the wine glass and a little bit down. It's gonna, it's gonna work with the yellow to create that light and shine effect. 
It's going to be right here in the candle. You're going to find it on the bathtub as well. It's going to be in the window curtain. You're going to see there's little dots right here and right here. I'm not sure. Is that just from the candles, I think, to make it shine or the hardware of the candles? And then you've got and more. The flames right here are that white. You've got a little bit down here. Is that a candle as well, I believe? And that's, yeah, about it, I think, for the white one. So you guys, this one is gonna be so stunning and beautiful. I think those purples and pinks are just gonna paint an incredibly lovely image. The candles that are lit is just so warm and cozy. And I love, I love the cat and dog in this one. <laughs> So um, if you guys would like this one, it will be released tomorrow, Saturday, February 18th, and that will be at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time or 12.30 p.m. Eastern time. That is going to be the general release. There will be an early diamond tier, diamond and ruby tier release at 9 a.m. Pacific time or 12 p.m. Eastern time. Don't worry, they always hold st stock back for the general release but there is that early window for diamond and ruby tier members. So um, I encourage you, if this is one that you guys would like to go check out the site because Diamond Art Club has been making more limited edition. That is to bring us more and more images. And so they are making more limited and discontinuing faster. So I always encourage you to go and um, check out the canvases if it's one that you just must have to make sure that it's not limited edition and um, miss it. So I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you in another video soon.